A veteran risked his life for our country and went on to become one of the Navy's first black chiefs. Today, the 102-year-old veteran is receiving a special honor. 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis was on hand for the rare recognition. At 102 years old, Chief Steward Andy Mills looks great and is incredibly humble. It's a rare honor for a living person to have a building named after them, but that's what happened here today. These new barracks behind me now bear the name Andrew Mills Hall. He's being recognized for his brave actions during the Battle of Midway in World War II, which changed the course of the war. This was a time when the military was segregated and African Americans were treated like second class citizens. But despite that, Mills risked his life and fought for his country, even during times when he didn't know he'd make it out alive. Mills and others were tasked to find important documents when their ship was sinking. After several attempts, Mills was the only one able to crack the safe. He recently got a tour of the this building, and we asked him what he thought. Oh, beautiful. That's one of the most beautiful things I've had seen so far. What an honor, what a blessing. And I appreciate the Navy for recognizing him for all that. See, here I go. But for all that he's been through, and to, to leave something like this for the sailors to have their comfort spot, I just hope they appreciate it. and. And think of him, think of Mills when they're in Mills Hall. These barracks behind me will soon be home to junior enlisted, giving them a comfortable home when they're not deployed. Reporting from Naval Base Coronado, Amanda Brandeis, 10 News.